In this tutorial, we will cover setting up the Optrix crop sensor for on-the-go variable rate nitrogen application for corn and North American wheat with the NCOMMAND 1200. The Optrix crop sensor detects crop health and prescribes the amount of nitrogen needed for optimum production, all in real time. This means the system can reduce input costs and increase yield potential. Optrix uses a single algorithm to calculate application rates based on a virtual reference strip that only takes 5 minutes of scanning to create. AgLeader recommends consulting a crop advisor to determine nitrogen rates that work best for your region and current crop conditions. To begin, tap the Application app. Select a configuration that is set up with at least two Optrix crop sensors and tap the wrench to open the configuration setup window. Tap the Crop Sensor button at the bottom. In the Crop Sensor Edit window, you'll see setting options for corn, North American wheat, and Europe. The Europe settings are covered in a separate video on our YouTube channel. We'll walk through the first two options now. Tap on Corn Settings to set rates for nitrogen application in a corn crop. The min rate is the least amount of nitrogen that will be applied during the operation. If Optrix prescribes a lower rate, the system will default to this rate instead. Max rate is the highest amount of nitrogen that will be applied even if Optrix recommends a higher rate. The rate increment will define the step size for the variable rate at the end algorithm and is dependent on your controller capabilities and end product. Economic optimal rate reflects the estimated total amount of nitrogen uptake by the plant over the entire growing season. This value will vary by region and crop type, so it is important to work with your local crop advisor. The economic optimal rate can be calculated by estimating the yield goal after evaluating the current crop and growing conditions leading up to the time of application. Once the yield goal is determined, multiply that value by the amount of nitrogen it takes to produce one bushel of corn. The end credits are the estimated amount of nitrogen that is available this year from the previous year's crop, such as nitrogen fixed by soybeans or from manure application. The pre-side dress rate is the amount of nitrogen that has been applied for the current year's crop before side dressing. Depending on environmental factors, not all pre-side dress nitrogen may be available to the plant, so again, talk to your advisor to estimate this value. With all corn settings entered, tap the green check. Now let's look at the differences when applying nitrogen in wheat. Tap on North American Wheat Settings. In this window, we will see the same input options for min and max rate, rate increment, economic optimal rate, and nitrogen credits. But instead of pre-side dress rate, we have pre-top dress rate, which is the amount of nitrogen that has been applied already to the crop this year. Remember to work with your local crop advisor to determine these values for each field and season as they can vary based on current crop and growing conditions. If an inaccurate value is entered, you might not reach the full potential of your crop. With the wheat values entered, tap the green check. Tap the back arrow to return to the configuration setup window. Tap the back arrow again to return to the configuration selection window. From the Application Configuration Selection window, we will create a new event and load the mapping screen. Select the configuration we just edited and tap the next arrow. Select the appropriate season, grower, farm, and field and tap the next arrow. Select a nitrogen-based product. For our example, we will use 32% UAN. Tap the next arrow. Select the controlling product. For our example, we will select pounds of nitrogen as the controlling product. Tap the green check. On the mapping screen, tap liquid in the bottom left to view the Optrix information. We need to first create a vegetative index or VI reference value by scanning a virtual reference strip. To create a reference strip for corn or North American wheat, you locate the most vigorous portion of your field and scan it for 5 minutes or 300 seconds. After you have driven to the selected area, tap on Create under Reference Strip in the bottom right of the mapping screen. Select the sensor prescription, either corn, Europe, or North American wheat. 
Then enter a name for the reference strip, the growth stage of the crop you are referencing, and the name of the variety you are scanning. All fields must be entered before a reference strip can be created. With the reference strip information entered, tap the green check. Start moving to scan the area and tap the green check. The display will start recording the reference strip. A timer will count up the number of seconds while recording the reference strip. For best results, you can use the pause button when driving over parts of the field that are in an undesirable condition, such as headlands. After the required time is reached, the cancel button will change into a stop button. Tap Stop and a window will appear to confirm that the reference strip is completed and saved. Tap the green check. After the reference strip is complete, we can adjust the application rate settings specified by Opteryx by tapping the VI bar graph. Here we can change the VI0 and VI minimum values. The VI0 value is the VI value at which Crop Sensor applies a zero rate and is used to prevent applying nitrogen on bare soil or permanently damaged crops. VI minimum is the VI value that the minimum rate should be applied. These values can be entered by tapping the keypad or by tapping set to current if your sensor is scanning an area that you would like to set as the threshold. If you would like to adjust any of the rates previously entered for the selected configuration, such as minimum or maximum rates, tap the Algorithm Setting button in the lower right-hand corner. After you have the value set, tap the back arrow to return to the mapping screen. You are now ready to use the Opteryx Crop Sensor for accurate, on-the-go nitrogen application. While applying, the Rate tab in the upper right will display the product target rate that the Opteryx is recommending for the current area and the actual rate that the product is being applied. Tapping the Rate tab will open the Product Control Toolbox. Starting at the top, we can select Target Rate 1 or Target Rate 2, Manual Control, Opteryx Control, and Increment Settings. Tap the wrench to open the Rate Control Settings window. On this screen, we can set the target rate values and define increment values. Now you will be able to efficiently set up the Opteryx Crop Sensor for variable rate nitrogen application in corn and North American wheat. If you'd like to learn more about Opteryx Crop Sensors, please reference the Opteryx Feature User Guide for InCommand. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.